A MicroStation document file is called a design file, or DGN file. It is composed of one or more models, each of which is used to store related elements such as lines, arcs, and shapes. When you create a DGN file, MicroStation copies one of the provided templates, or seed DGN files, to the new file. You can have only one DGN file open at a time. If you open a DGN file when one is already open, the first file automatically closes. In this lesson, you will create a new building plan DGN file that will contain the design graphics for a proposed restaurant. So here we are in MicroStation and we wish to create a new design file for the project. From the work page, we are going to click New File. And when we click on this, the new dialog opens. There are three things you need to determine. First, where to create the new file. Here we will navigate to the 01 Introduction to MicroStation folder. This is the location that you will save the new file to. Second, the name of the new file. Here we will name the new DGM file, Proposed Restaurant. Finally, and the most important thing, is the seed file you are going to use to create the file. Now, all programs use some kind of template. We call it a seed file. Down here at the bottom, you can see the seed file. If we click the Browse button, this will take us to where MicroStation looks for other seed files in our work set. Here, we are going to pick the seed file, 2D Design Seed. We'll click Open to select it. And then from here, we'll click Save. The new DGN file is created and opened. From the title bar of the MicroStation application window, observe that the new file is 2D. This was determined by the seed file. Seed files help bring consistency to a project. When a DGN file is created, a seed file is identified as a template for the new DGN file. The new DGN file is actually a copy of the seed file containing the same settings and properties as that of the seed. This also includes any models, design graphics, reference file attachments, etc. It is because of this that organizations may have different seed files based upon department, discipline, or the type of content that will be in the DGN. In this case, the seed file that was used was adapted from a seed file obtained from the customer. As such, it contains many of the basic settings that they want in their project design files. Next, from View Tools along the edge of the View window, let's click Fit View. Notice that the tool settings are set to Files, All. MicroStation immediately attempts to fit any geometry that has been created within the view window. Take a look near the bottom of the application in what we call the status bar. A message is reported stating, No elements found. This file contains no graphical content that is displayed. MicroStation has the ability to display up to eight view windows simultaneously in the active design session. MicroStation, in general, follows a three-step rule when working with tools. This three-step rule typically is 1. Pick the tool 2. Adjust the settings and 3. Follow the command prompt. In our case, 1. Pick the tool was choosing the Fit View icon. 2. Adjusting the tool settings was not necessary because the tool was already set to Files All. And three, here the tool was executed immediately because there is a single view window in use. With other tools, this is not the case. The command prompt will walk you through the use of the active tool. During this lesson, you learned how to create a MicroStation design file and how to select and apply a seed file when a design file is created. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.